Now we will see the interfacing of relay or C programming of relay. So first of all, you should know about that what is the relay and what is the interfacing. So the, what is the relay? Relay is a electrically operated switch. Many relays use as electromagnetic to mechanical operate a switch, but other operating principles are used such as the solid state relays. So we will see here the electromechanical -me relay. This is the electromechanical relay. It has total of uh, five pins so here you can see this is the one is common and so this uh, they are normally closed and normally open so whenever the current flowing through this coil coil is generated and this uh, pole will attract here and uh, NO will connect it with the C just like and uh, so normally the switch is closed here and the, when there is no current flow the rest condition of this uh, relay is nothing but the C to NC and whenever the current flowing through this, then the connection will make between the C and uh, NO. So relay requires plus 12 volt, uh, plus 12 volt DC supply, and it's required uh, more than 1000 milliampere current. 1000 milliampere current, or we can say that the one ampere current. So you know that the microcontroller provide provides uh, plus 5 volt and the plus 5 volt and 200 uh, milliampere current but the uh, relay requires of their operation is uh, 12 volts more than uh, 12 volts and the 1000 milliampere current so so that we cannot connect the directly relay with the microcontroller between the relay and the microcontrollers we have to connect the one uh, interfacing circuit that is called as a driver so driver are different types are uh, driver uh, the first is uh, uh, using the bgt or transistor so we can use there the IC driver ic L293D or we can use the other 23008 or 3 I see so in this way we can interface uh, we can interface the relay with the microcontroller via the transistor so here uh, logic 1 or logic 0 this is the output of the microcontroller and which is given to the base of the transistor and the when uh, logic 1 is on then uh, we can say that the transistor is on and when the transistor is on the VCC will uh, we see uh, current flowing through this coil and coil is uh, energized and relay contact will be made and load will be on and when logic zero is uh, when whenever the uh, logic zero which is getting from the microcontroller then transistor will be off and relay will, and the coil is uh, de energized and the relay contact will be uh, rest condition and load will be off so this is the one condition here relay we can interface with the microcontrollers via the transistor Question may be asked in the exam, write a C language program to make the relay on or off after certain delay. So the, for that, uh, first so we have to write down, uh, we have to draw the circuit diagrams of microcontroller along with the relay. Uh, relay. So this is the circuit, uh, circuit diagram, interfacing of a relay with the microcontroller. So here microcontroller is 51 So there is a pin 0.0. .0. So here we have connect the switch, whenever the switch is on that bulb will be uh, on and whenever switch is uh, off then bulb will be off. So here bulb is connected to the relay and relay is connected to the microcontroller via driver ULN2803. So here pin 1.0 uh, which is uh, connected to the 802803 ULN driver and driver's output which is connected to the relay coil and here relay which is connected to the uh, bulb and there is given the plus 12 volt power supply here we can connect, we can also apply here 230 power supply also we can give here the 230 volt power supply to the bulb via the relay so a relay requires the plus 12 volt or plus 5 volt and the relay can be uh, uh, relay output may be 230 volts or more than 440 volt so that much current can be uh, distance by the relay poles so now here the crystal 1 and crystal 2 uh, c1 and c3 these are the uh, crystal circuitry it is the common crystal circuitry and by default uh, you have to draw here when you are the interfacing may be asked in the exam so pin 2 point uh, pin p 0, 0 here the switch is connected you can see here and the pin 2.0 it means that pin 0.0 it is the input pin of the it is we have to assign pin 0.0 as a input pin 
and pin 2.0 as a output pin. So only two pins are required to interfacing the relay. So now let's see how to write the program for this circuitry. Now in the circuit is given 0.0 which is connected to the switch and pin to pin 2.0 connected to the relay. So now this is the enough for the making the program or developing the program for this interface. So first we have to write here hash include register 51 dot h use variable s bit switch is equal to p0.0 semicolon and another variable rl wire it is the short form of relay we have used for the pin 2.0 so this is a 2.0 so now whenever you have to use the pin 2.0 you can use as a rl name in the program program mention here this certain delay after the certain delay relay will be on or off that means bulb will be on or off so here we have to write wild delay consign integer semicolon and here actually our program will be start wild main and curly bracket sw it is the input here we have assign pin 0, 0.0 as a input pin now relay is equal to 0 here we have used pin 2.0 as a output pin. So in this way, we can assign the input or output or we can configure the pins, particular pins, pin 0.0 as a input pins and 2.0 as a output pin. So now next is Y. You can use here the Y because we have to continuously check this switch and according this switch the relay may be on or off or bulb may be on or off so the first here so we have to use the one condition the condition here if sw is equal to is equal to zero so meaning is that when switch is off then relay will be off when SW is equal to 0, then relay will be off. That means RLY is equal to 0. And else relay will be on. So this must be written into the curly bracket. So this is the curly bracket. The curly bracket is completed over here. And uh, here here of the bulb or relay here on the bulb or relay so here in the program mentioned there are the certain delay so you can add the delay where you should use the delay function here delay so here 20 and here delay 20 so here for the delay we can write this program so delay while delay unsigned integer t semi curly bracket unsigned integer x y and so here we, are, we can write here the for loop to for loops here t value is nothing but the 20 because we have written here we have written here this programs in 20 so here we have written here the 20 so that means t is equal to 20 so this for loop execute 20 times and say another for loop execute 1 to 
five to one to seven five times. So in this way, we will get here the twenty milliseconds. Now, in short, we can see this bulb on twenty milliseconds and twenty milliseconds uh, and of the twenty milliseconds whenever this switch is on. When this switch is on, so its meaning is that. This bulb is on 20 milliseconds. When this switch is off, then the relay will be uh, de-energized and the bulb will be off.